A new CARE 11 investigation tonight into Minnesota's most vulnerable. Many are struggling to get care as the nation's bailout for unemployed workers results in a financial incentive for some critical employees to stay home. Here's investigative reporter AJ Legault. Honestly, we've been in crisis for a long, long time. And this is just, this is just the cherry. The cherry. For Lauren Thompson, who is quadriplegic with spastic cerebral palsy, is the effect COVID-19 has had on her ability to get a personal care assistant, or PCA, to help her with basic needs. And so I need a PCA to get, get me up, um, get me dressed, get me showered. The 31-year-old is currently living with her mom, Cheryl, who, due to a bad back and neck, struggles to lift and care for her daughter. How has this COVID pandemic affected the ability to get PCA care? <laughs> Great question. We've tried to, get, tried to get some PCAs in here. Um, one person was in for a little while and, and stopped coming. So that means that I can't take a shower. Lauren's not alone. In Minnesota, roughly 28,000 people, young and old, rely on PCAs for critical help with daily living. When I say critical, that, you know, I truly mean life, health, safety. Roberta Oppheim is Minnesota's ombudsman for mental health and developmental disabilities. She says because of the pandemic, that PCA care, which can be a matter of life and death, is not always happening. We are seeing and hearing complaints of people not getting their services. Ask anyone in Minnesota's disability community and they'll tell you there was a major PCA staffing shortage before the COVID pandemic. Now there's a crisis fueled in part by the government's attempt to help unemployment. And we were doing the math. They'd make much more on unemployment with the extra $600 bonus than they would uh, doing this job. Needed workers making more money to stay home. Is that really happening? We checked state unemployment data, which shows between March 16th and April 18th, 1,933 PCAs applied for unemployment. We have had some workers now stop working, saying it's COVID related and filed for unemployment. Andre Best is CEO of Best Care, an agency that employs PCAs. He and other PCA agency owners tell CARE 11 they're seeing PCAs purposefully go on unemployment because with a new federal $600 a week added to regular unemployment benefits, it's more lucrative than working. It's a disincentive if you can make more money not working than working. Bess says they'd like to pay their employees better, but in Minnesota, it's a rate-controlled system. The state reimbursement rate for PCA services is $17.80 an hour. After employer taxes and overhead, PCA agencies typically pay employees just the union contracted $13.25 an hour. The margins are very thin. Thin margins, but high stakes. This is life and death. GOP State Senator Jim Abler has introduced an emergency funding bill that, if passed, would provide a 15% bonus to encourage PCAs to come to work during the COVID emergency. If the PCA doesn't come to some of these people, they will die and we can't let that happen. It's not just about the money. A lack of protective equipment like masks and gloves has both PCAs and the clients they care for concerned about the risks of workers coming and going from people's homes. And this is a job where social distancing is impossible. Factor it all together, and for Minnesota's most vulnerable, COVID-19 is exposing them to risks beyond the virus itself. It's had a direct impact on your life though. Yes, yeah, yep, PCA care always does. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm AJ Legault. If you have something you'd like our I-team to look into, contact us at investigations at care11.com.